Okay, this video is for those of you who might be interested in learning how to program the Design Shine lights. There are a few features of these lights that you may like to change, enable or disable or alter in some way depending on your battery that you may be using. So I'd like to show you a couple of basic programming maneuvers. It's, this is not intended to be exhaustive by any means. You'll need to check out the website and the MaxFlex link on the website to get a lot more information. But a few basics here. How to enter and get out of programming mode. Entering programming mode is essentially a two-handed operation here. You have to hold down the power button at the same time that you're connecting the battery. Alright, so hold down power while you connect the battery and the light will flash a couple times and go to a dimly lit mode indicating I'm now in programming mode. So, once you're in programming mode you now have access to a menu driven programming system. There are 13 menu items that you can have access to and you really only might need a couple. Most of the, the options you won't uh, need to access or have any interest in looking at, but there are a few that might interest you, so I'm going to demonstrate one of those here, and that is called the Super Lock Mode. When I ship these lights, I enable Super Lock by default just as a safety feature. Basically, it prevents the light from being turned on with a single click. Uh, it's great if you have kids or if you just want to prevent uh, any accidental turn on, but you know some people may not like it. So you can turn it on or off very easily through the programming menu. And let me show you how to get to that option. Super lock is menu item four. So I'm going to click this button four times, essentially, to select super lock mode. So every time I flash, or every time I click, one, it's going to flash to acknowledge. Two, it flashes again. Three, and four. So I'm now at menu item four. And now I need to select it. So let's press and hold. Now I've selected menu item four. Now just as a side note, if you get lost in the counting of the clicking, you can always just disconnect power and start over. That's usually the best thing to do if you get confused. So I'm at menu item 4. Now that I've selected it, it's like a pull down menu on your PC. You've got options now underneath the super lock mode. Option 1 is disable, option 2 is enable. So the way that you select those sub uh, menus, if you will, or the sub options under super lock is through, again, a number of clicks. So in this case, to disable super lock, it's a zero click operation. That seems, sounds kind of funny, but it's basically do nothing. And so with zero clicks, if I select it now, that's going to disable super lock. So let's select, now that I've in mode four, or menu item four, I've not clicked the button again, and now I'm going to press and hold to select the disable option. Press and hold. It flashes twice and goes back to programming mode. Okay, at this point I can turn it off. And now I can turn it on with a single click. But let's say I want to re-enable super lock mode. Well, I've got to get back into programming mode. Press and hold the power button. Reconnect power. Now I'm in programming mode. So very quickly let's go through the menu item 1. Two, three, four. Now that I'm at menu item four, let's select it by pressing and holding. And now instead of the zero click sub menu item, let's click it once, which is the enable. You can see after I clicked it once, it got brighter, telling me that I clicked it once. Now I'm going to press and hold to select that option. Flashes twice, and I'm back in menu mode. So that's just a quick enable disable procedure for super lock. I can also get out of programming mode by pressing and holding here. Now I'm out. Now if I'd like to turn it on, a triple click is required. 
So three short clicks turns it on into solid mode. If I'd like to get into blinking mode with super lock enabled, it's two short clicks followed by press and hold until flashing starts. So two clicks, press and hold. And there's flashing mode. So if you'd like to learn more about the programming features, check it out on the website. Click Max Flex, and you can have access to the programmer's manual there. And I uh, appreciate you looking at the video today. Thanks. Bye.